I've pretty much given up on ever making my thousand dollars. I'll probably have to get arrested before this day ever come to an end. Did I, did I just hear the call of the Wookiee a few minutes ago? <laughs> yeah, I thought I heard that. <laughs> you want to shoot a video? I just want to participate. I forgot oh, how okay. happy my winter jacket makes me. I am so prepared. Hey everybody, this is Mike. We are at Veterans Park in Manchester. Video. It's about seven <laughs> minutes to curfew and Dave like Ridley and, and us are about to start our oh, impetus and oh, protest oh, about the enforcement of curfews. Come on down. Thanks. Where's she held? 225. Distinguish <laughs> okay from currency. That there is no so, way. So, rather than explain it to somebody and just hand it to them, yep. and, uh, that's for the camera. If they don't ask any questions, it's good. Which, which is really wrong. <laughs> if they don't ask any questions, I'm not going to get a little bit of I heard, I think, wasn't it just a huge rip off of 300 basically? Like, right. And it will look perfect. I just want to participate. I forgot oh, how okay. happy my winter jacket makes me. I am so prepared. Hey everybody, this is Mike. We are at Veterans Park in Manchester. It's about seven minutes to curfew and Dave Ridley and, and us are about to start our impetus and protest about the enforcement of curfews. Come on down. Thanks. One thought I had for the jogging um, is if you just jog back and forth across the crosswalk, you're, you're where you're supposed to be. The only thing you're doing is jogging. Okay. Today we're opening up with a better pickup. Picking up trash illegally. Then I got on the ballot as an independent. Then the Republicans decided that they only had two people for three seats and they decided that they would take any warm body they could get. So they tried to do a half-assed write-in campaign at the last minute, which I only got about half of the write-ins I needed on primary day. So that failed. Then last Friday, which happened to be the deadline day, they realized that they're the Republicans and there's an empty seat and they can fill it with whoever they want. So I got a bunch of frantic phone calls at three in the afternoon, ran over to the Republican headquarters, got a letter from the state chair, filled out the form, took it to the SOS, and now I'm on the ballot as a Republican. So now I'm on the ballot twice. So I've been going back and forth of whether I'm running a radical independent campaign or a more moderate Republican campaign. And now that I'm certain that I'm a Republican, I guess I can proceed with that and like do some literature and all that. So ask for the vote! Yeah, well I mean my original plan was to insult both parties, but now I can't do that. So I have to tone it down a little bit. Ask and for the vote! I would like your vote, because Kevin Roll, I'm twice the candidate. Illegal transplacement of trash into milk containers. Or illegal, illegal placement of a substance into a milk container that's not milk. Yeah, it's a, that's illegal. Okay, but further, I'm trying to find someone to do a job, and you've, uh, Kelly's agreed. Now, Kelly, are you okay with doing a job uh, for below minimum wage? You're very comfortable, but. Oh, yes. I see you take the job very seriously. Collection jar. I brought candles. Oh, sweet. We're going to have a vigil? Sure. 
I wish we didn't have to, but... Hey, Andrew! This is a story of something that's going on right now. This is a story about Lauren Canario and how the vulture of government is bothering her. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a... Uh, <laughs> Henry David Thoreau <laughs> Henry David Thoreau will have to sit in for Lauren Canario tonight but that's fine I think Henry would have uh, approved of Lauren and Lauren certainly approves of Henry from what hi, I hi Lauren hi Lauren hi Lauren by the time this is up uh, maybe you may be out, out of jail but anyway after that happened to Russell I went and did the same thing and I got arrested too <laughs> Lauren's like okay okay time for it to go to the IRS office <laughs> Uh, stand up for my friend David. <laughs> She's gonna go into the IRS office and get arrested. So they show up in force. And same old thing. You can't, you cannot go into the IRS office and sit there. It's inside that uh, that post office, which leads to the IRS office. He shut down, kept the media out. So that Lauren can... Oh, I'm the government, and I decided now I'm going to arrest Lauren Canario one year later. They lure Lauren into their lair, they snatch her, they take her away, and she's still in <laughs> They jail. traded her for a camera. You know? Oh, here. thank you, my, yes, my, yeah, I like my underpaid assistant. I'm getting underpaid, only $6 dollars now. But I need to change you. Sure, it's just in. Yeah, it's it's just just in. Illegal jogging in Manchester. It's illegal to jog uh, on the Manchester street without proper bright coloring. Uh. Isn't that jaywalking? Both. Double. <laughs> One illegal bike ride coming up. Now tell me, who was harmed by that? That's what's always boggles my mind. It's not like the, they care about gathering. the laws, it's just that if they, don't, if they don't want to get you, it's just there's a million ways that they can, so. Exactly. But that sort of works to our advantage in a way, so it's sort of like, okay, it's basically like there aren't any laws. Yeah. And so it's the, really the only thing holding them back is public opinion, so we can play the public opinion game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can't, most of us don't know how to play the legal game, but we know how to play the public opinion game. Yeah. Hopefully showing that the cops selectively enforce laws is going to open some eyes. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad they selectively enforce them, because if they enforced all laws all the time, then right. everyone would always be in jail. Exactly. Well, but I don't think people realize it. That an impromptu candlelight vigil at Porkfest for Edna Lane Brown. Which Lauren held that, didn't mm -hmm. she? Wasn't that her idea? and better planned. <laughs> Less impromptu. Laura means a lot to all of us, so. Well, condolences all, maybe next time.